January isn't just for making resolutions. It's apparently the biggest month for divorce filings and entering the dating world. So <laughs> if you're looking for love after divorce, you should know from now through February is considered peak season. So get out there and in order to help you out to make that happen, we called in our two experts for advice, Joyce Smarter with Urban Balance Therapy and relationship expert Bella Gandhi. You guys are banding together to help the men and women of the world, right? We <laughs> are. We're here to help. Okay. Absolutely. I had no idea that this was a big dating month and a big divorce month. Why? Yes. It's well, January, right? Mm -hmm. It's new. So for, from a divorce standpoint, sometimes people have grinned and bared it through what was their last holiday and they're like, this is it, I game it. over, mm -hmm. I'm filing. And then for the people that are single out there, and it's 43% of the adult population, mm -hmm. they're like, this is the year, I'm going to dip my toe in, falling mm -hmm. in love is a resolution, I'm in. So it's kind of, it's a funny month for both. And this is when it happens. Okay, Joyce, so when is the right time if you've divorced for you to put yourself back out there again? How do you no. Well, I think it's different for each mm -hmm. person, and it's really important to get support. So I always recommend talking to a counselor, mm -hmm. therapist, and you want to get support, make sure it's the right time for you, and you don't want to recreate old relationship patterns. Yes. I That's say, the smartest thing, yes. right? Right. We all unconsciously recreate what's familiar in our lives. Which might have been bad. It might have been mm -hmm. bad. Mm -hmm. And so we have to become aware and conscious and choose something better, choose something different. So therapy can be helpful. It's important to have single friends for mentoring and support. And listen to what they say, right? Absolutely. Listen to what they say, trust me. So what's interesting too to me is I think sometimes after people divorce, we can tend to be a little judgy about when they're starting to date again, right? That's why right. you said it really depends on the individual. Right, sometimes mm -hmm. it helps them move mm -hmm. through the process if they get themselves back out there. So okay. some people like to jump right back in and other people are more tentative. But I, I get concerned when people wait too long. Really? I really worry mm -hmm. about that. I think there's a lot of fear. Uh -huh and negativity and, and then they stay stagnant and so I think it's really important and I love the new year as uh -huh. an opportunity for a new you and a new life so so put yourself out there okay. right so you've did you've divorced however long ago you're ready to put yourself back out there Bella where do you begin so one of the first things you should do like Joy says you need to build a village you need to have people around you I mean it's one of the things that we specialize in at Smart Dating Academy is being that village for people that want professionals the first First thing you should really do is we tell everybody is you need to get online one in three marriages today take place because of online dating five years ago it was one in six so get excited mm. and if people are giving you horror stories and telling you oh you're gonna come up with frauds and catfishers be petrified forget it. <laughs> I would be petrified I would it is yeah. scary mm -hmm. for most people to get out there but we really we help people after divorce to really get out there because some people are like I haven't been on a date since 1993 right. I don't even right. know I, don't, I wouldn't even know what to do right. but that's the first thing to do is get online mm -hmm. pick one site or one app my favorites are match if you're really looking for someone serious mm -hmm. if you just want to get out there and date a little bit get on Bumble or get on Happen and you've got to have great photos okay. and a good positive profile that helps you to yeah. stand out because it's like your personal advertisement in cyberspace online. It's so difficult. Okay, yeah. we could talk to you two ladies forever. Unfortunately, we do not have time, but let everybody know you have something coming up. Tell us about that. Yes. We do. So Joyce and I are speaking at a conference called um, Dating After Divorce for Women, which is sponsored by the Lilac Tree. And it's in Evanston on January 25th. And the tickets are incredibly reasonable. So you can go to the Lilac Tree, buy a ticket, and come mm -hmm. here. The two of us speak, but there's only 25 seats. So oh. get your tickets oh, yeah. quickly. Yeah, it'll be great. And where do they go for more information? Urbanbalance.com if you're interested in therapy okay. or counseling. Or smartdatingacademy.com. Okay, very nice. Stick around. I have some single girlfriends I want both of you to meet. Okay? <laughs> Absolutely.